Hey y'all, how's it going? It is your girl, Hot Girl Tarot Shay. Thank you all for joining me and being here with me this afternoon. I greatly do appreciate it. I miss you all so much and I thank you so much for being patient and understanding with me. Okay, it's been a journey. Recovery is not a joke, especially after surgery. I never thought in a million years that it will take me this long, but we here, we doing it, and we gonna get through it, okay? We're gonna see, the, today's message is gonna be about you. Things that you need to let go of, things that you need to surrender, things that you need to do better at, okay? We're gonna get into you. We're gonna talk about you, okay? The month of February, we're gonna see what messages are coming in for you, okay? Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, I do have Patreon, so check that out. Those readings are timeless, so go check them out, go subscribe. You'll love it over there. Also, Twitter, check out my Twitter. The link is in the description box as well. We have 18.1K following over there. I do do specials on my readings over there, so make sure you go follow to keep up with the updates. Okay, if I'm not posting over here, go over there, okay? All right, let's get started. Spirit, what does the collective need to surrender at this time? What do they need to let go of? What do they... What do they need to come to terms with? What is the message that you have for them for this February? For February 2023, what is their message? Ooh, bottom of the deck, we got surrender your ego. So some of you are, are holding on to that ego, holding on to that pride, you know. All right, now, February message. Let's see. Oh, yield. The so Spirit said in this month of, um, this, I mean, not December, wow. In this month of February, you need to learn how to surrender from things. Surrender from certain things that, or, or yield, that's the, that's the reading, is to yield. Okay, you need to take some precautions in this month of February. Okay, because something in you is you're rising above all right now. You are moving towards new beginnings. You are doing better than you expected. And Spirit says you need to trust the divine divine trust the trust divine timing okay um i feel like some of you are trying to move too fast or trying to hurry up and do the most and you should be trying to slow down a little bit okay this month of february for my collective surrender your resistance okay so some of you are like not really wanting to to change or you're really feeling like some of you are repeating the same patterns over and over and over again, okay? You need to understand that you can change. You know, if you want better, if you've been praying for better, you've been trying to do better, you've been, you know, going out on a limb, you've been trying to make those sacrifices for yourself. Spirit says it's time for you to kind of like, not kind of, but you really need to get in that mindset of um, doing what you got to do for yourself. So that you can be fruitful. So that you can live that life that you want to. And Spirit says, quit being so negative. Stop holding yourself back. You are the only one. This is your life. Okay? You are in control of you. But the time that you take to kind of like slow down and stop trying to move too fast and surrender and accept. For some of you, you need to surrender and accept that you do deserve better. You do truly do deserve better. Okay, there could be a situation where you're trying to move too fast in or you're just trying to give up too easily or you're just not seeing the bigger picture. Spirit says either way, whether it's work, love, yourself, you just need to take some time and slow down. But some of you are resisting this change. It's like you've prayed for this change. You've been asking God to send you signs and God's been sending you signs. And it's just like you just won't change. You know, you're like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow or I'll adjust it later, or it is what it is. You know, that's my person. I'm not going nowhere. And look, as I said that, surrender your addictions. Some of you are really stuck in your way that you don't even see the bigger picture of something. Some of you don't even, some of you want to believe that something is going to work, or you've been asking for this change, but you don't feel like you got to change. You got to change too. What you've been praying and hoping for, you got to change too. You got to be the one to be like, okay, well, I asked for this. I got to make some changes too. So you need to surrender things that are holding you back. You know, some of you are like addicted to eating. You know, you'd be like, okay, January 1st, you're supposed to start your weight loss journey. You didn't. But you're so addicted to comfortability. You're so addicted to uh, fast food or eating a certain type of way or 
eating while you're binge watching. You know, some of you are addicted to a certain person in your life and you just want them and you like, it is what it is. I'll do whatever to keep them around. You need to slow down this month of February and really start to think things clearly. Think about what you want. Yeah, because look, we got boss bitch glow up. You are about to really glow up. Like you're about to do the damn thing this February. And yeah, look, rise above. You're about to rise above it all. But you gotta make them changes. Y'all gotta y'all gotta learn how to surrender and let go of things. And then with Bomba Deck, we got surrender irritation. And some of y'all need to move with intention. Surrender the transformation. I can't make this shit up. So it's really seeming like you're the one who's holding yourself back. And some of you do already know this. One more message here for the collective for February. Look, surrender to real healing. You have to be the one to do it. See, you need to resist this. You need to surrender resistance, surrender these addictions, and surrender to real healing. Like some of you are fake healing. You're good for a week or a couple days, and then you're back on the same bullshit. You're back doing the same things again. You have to let that lifestyle go. You have to let this certain person go. You have to let that job go. Let that friend go. Let that family member go. You have to be the one to do it. And for some of you, you got to quit, quit putting yourself down in this moment too. Because you're doing the best you can do. And the thing about it is some of you are really getting your head about yourself. Like, I'm not good enough or I want that job, but I don't feel like I'm, I'm, I'm doing I don't know. You got to quit doubting yourself. Yeah, look, stop accepting the, the bare minimum. Some of you are just allowing somebody to walk all over you. Some of you are allowing that career to take the best of you. You've been at that job for probably four or five years and you're not getting aware, baby. It's time, to, it's time to do something different. Go after that job you've been wanting to do. Start your own business. Be your own boss. Yeah, because you're doing the best you can do. And you're doing really, really good. Spirit says you're doing great. But you got to surrender this fear. You got to stop holding yourself back. You got to stop getting your head about yourself, telling yourself these bad thoughts. That's not you. And you know it. You need to center yourself and you need to stand in your power. You need to tell yourself, look, I can do this. I am worthy of having all the life, all the things I want to have. I'm worthy of having good love. I'm worthy of being, having a better friend. I'm worthy of, of getting out here and doing the damn thing. I'm worthy of starting my business. Like you got to talk to yourself. You got to look in the mirror. You got to tell yourself, I love you. I love you. And I'm proud of you. And, and as the tears flow down your face, you got this. Some of you didn't ask to for certain things to happen into your life, but you can break that generation code. You can you can break that. Okay, yeah, your mom wasn't probably good to you. wasn't the best mom. Your dad probably wasn't the best dad. You know, you probably didn't have the best living situation growing up. Maybe you didn't get that person that you always thought of. Maybe you thought you were gonna be married with them forever, and boom, something happened and you couldn't. You know, that certain person passed away, and you never thought that that would happen. You know, but you have to find some type of balance to try to say, okay, okay, God, I don't understand this. I don't know why I've been the best that I could do. Why, why are you hitting me with these blows left and right? And, and, you know, you have to, for some of you, you have to figure out how to forgive yourself for something. There is something that's holding you back and there's something that's making you feel not worthy of yourself, but you are. Some of you are so caught up in somebody from the past that you don't even want people to love you. You don't want people to look at you. You feel like you're too big or you're too skinny or you're not beautiful enough or not attractive. Fuck that shit. I'm going to tell you like that. Allow others to love you. Somebody wants to come in and show you, show you that they can love you and be real. Go do that. Because the same time that you're putting in trying to hope for somebody that's that one person to love you or to be your friend or to step up to the plate. You're missing out on what's truly destined for you because you're holding on to somebody who don't even care or making you false promises so you don't go nowhere. Somebody sees your potential and knows that you can be better and have better, but you don't see your own potential. And that's what's messing you up. There is big things that are coming. Yeah, see, change what can be changed. And that's all you can do. That's all you can do is change what you got to change. Whatever you can do to, to make things better for yourself, do that. But when it comes to people and places and things, that's not for you to worry about right now. You This February is about you. 
loving yourself, being real with yourself, standing in your ground, setting boundaries, putting you first, stop accepting the bare minimum, taking things more slower with yourself and being more patient with yourself. You're going to get there eventually. Okay? Some of you need to savor the small moments. Be thankful for the small things that are happening. Stop worrying about why did this did not go my way or why did that no we're not doing that this month this month we're going to be kind to ourselves be loving to ourselves and like i told you earlier you're going to start setting strong boundaries you have to or it's not going to go nowhere you know you gotta you gotta be the one to make it clear of what you want what else for february my collective needs to know the spirit water yourself yeah, some of you um need to celebrate your achievements. Go out there and have some fun. Go live your life. Be good to yourself. Talk good things into into yourself. Yeah, surrender to taking a break this month, you guys. Go go on a spa. Go enjoy yourself. Heal. I'm seeing eleven eleven. Be patient with yourself. Okay. Yeah, surrender your sorrows. You know, like I told you earlier, you know, you have to find that that common ground. And that's what it's about is finding some, some finding a common ground to say, okay, hey, it is what it is. You know, some of you are trying so hard and you're tiring yourself out. Okay, you're tiring yourself out. You're holding this resentment because somebody hurt you really bad or you're holding on to these grudges or you're mad at the world because something didn't work out for you. You got to let that go. Yeah, Spirit says this month of February, you need to stop accepting the bare minimum no more of that we're not we're not settling for less especially with and if you keep having that certain dream in your mind and you're like damn i want that start stacking and saving you can have that apartment you can have that house the sky is the limit some of you also kind of kind of put yourself down and that's a bad thing let's say for instance you want that house but you got to have a 600 credit score and you're not nowhere near there keep stacking up your money because you don't know what may come through for you. Someone may be willing to work with you. Stop listening to everybody else and do your own research. Dig deep within. Spirit says, do your best. Stop watching everybody. Stop stop looking at what everybody else is doing and focus on your goals and, and what you need to do. Okay? Yeah, but y'all got to learn how to be more conscious of Spirit. Give me two more messages for the collective. See, told you. You got to surrender that ego, you guys. Stop being so prideful that you're forgetting of what's what's coming your way. But stop holding on to that, resent, that resentment of what somebody else did to you. Or why you feel like you can't be your best self. There is something that's making you feel like you're not good enough. Or you can't be good enough. Or you can't have those moments that you know that you are deserving of having. You got you to gotta quit. quit holding on to that. You know, yeah, they treated you wrong. Yeah, they walked out on you. But that's not for you to. Okay. <laughs> Did y'all hear the dog? That's not for you to hold on to. You know, you go live your life. Go write a letter and a, le a letter or journal it and, and get that shit out. Seriously, get it out of your system. Because if not, you're going to keep running into the same issues. And Spirit also says for some of you, stop telling people your business. Move in silence. Everybody don't need to know what you got going on. People don't even know you, you just got a raise. People don't need to know you you making that move and making this move. That's not for them to know. That's not their business. I don't care. Yeah, block the bullshit. Is there somebody who's keep bringing drama to you and keep trying to tear your relationship down or keep on um, an ex just keeps on trying to to put you and your person down or speaking, talking shit. They just want a reaction out of you. But you got to be the bigger person. And Spirit says stop fighting for others. Let them fight their own battles. Stop trying to get in between things that have nothing to do with you. Right now, you need to work on your mind, body, and cleanse your soul. Okay? Some of you, you need to go have a healthy orgasm. Okay? Whether it's you getting off on your own. But you need it. You got so much pent up aggression yeah and spirit says no one to walk away and it is okay to cry 
it is okay to cry. It's okay to get those emotions out because it's going to help you heal and be better. You may not be fully 100% healed, but at least you're working towards it. You're, you're, you're taking the time out to do what you got to do for yourself. Okay? So let's dig a little bit deeper. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Yeah. But that was awesome. <laughs> Seriously, like y'all got to... You got you about to glow up. I'm trying to tell you. This you about to be something serious. I'm gonna say at least by the summertime, yeah, you're gonna be real life pressure. People are gonna wish, wish that they would have treated you better. People are gonna wish they would have not not played you like that. I'm trying to tell you. Spirit, tell me more for this month of February for my collective month of February for my collective. This month of February for my collective. Two, two more shuffles. This month of February for my collective. Determined, you are set in your ways. So yeah, spirit says you're you need to get out your ways. Okay, you got to get out them ways. February message for my collective. Well, we got three. Okay, I can dig it. We got happiness. What well, brings you joy? Bring more of that into your life. So this month of February, y'all, spirit says go have fun. What whatever makes you happy, go and do it. You know, whether it's going to ride your bicycle, get in a hotel room for the weekend and and find an indoor pool and go and swimming for, for 30 minutes or so or read a book or go jogging. Do whatever that you need to do to make yourself happy. You need to bring that happiness back into yourself. Go spend time with your family. Go see your dad. Go see your mom. Go visit your past loved one What and go talk to them. Some of you, I don't know why I said that. I really don't talk about stuff like that, but Spirit says go do that. If that person's been on your heart and mind, especially if they passed away, go see them. Go, go, go talk to them. You know, you might you might even see a sign while you're out there at their grave site. Okay, Spirit says get back to being happy. Journaling. Start back doing your business. Okay, because you're losing yourself. And Spirit says this month you need to work on gaining how to be better for yourself. Okay. Spirit says jealousy. People around you don't want to see you win. Do not tell them your plans. Didn't I just say that? You got to learn to be moving silence. And even though you want, even though you feel like, you know what? And you might be a person who is always clapping for the next one, always cheering them on. But baby, sometimes people don't feel the same way about you because you're real life pressure. So you got to quit telling people certain things that you're doing, how you're moving, how you got that many following her or how you doing this or why she always go dang she not working but damn she keep money or he how he get that new car stop telling your business because people do not be real life happy for you like that start start to start to you know journal it down or something but stop telling people your accomplishments stop stop because it's nothing but pure jealousy and some of you do feel that too because the same ones that you expect to clap for you, they'll be the first ones to go clap for somebody else quicker than you. Go share their stuff, support them, do all that. And you're just like, damn, okay. You know, like I, I'm always giving you money, but when I ask for money, you don't never got anything. You know? And people you don't need around you. They're 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 energy vampires. Try to take it all from you. This win means a lot. You are being rewarded for your grace and your faith. Ooh, so you got victory. Victory, success. Yeah, something here is big about to happen for you in the month of February. When you start to put your foot down, when you start to set those boundaries, when you start to pay attention more to you than you are worried about them, God going to open up some more and more doors for you. But you got to be the one to make that change. Bottom of the deck, we got surrender. Accept what you cannot change. There are some things that you just cannot change. And it's not for you to sit here and spend your whole life trying to figure out why and keep being in this stagnant energy where you are losing your own damn self. You cannot do that no more. Yeah, see? Life has been kicking your ass lately, but now you get to breathe. Relief. <laughs> you about to feel that. You about to feel that 
relief of something that's been holding you back for a long time. Tell me more, Spirit. For my collective of February. Dang it. Oh. Ooh, so some of you, y'all got an offer. A new opportunity is arising on the table. Yeah, so that's why Spirit says, be quiet. This is for you. Everybody can't come. Everybody won't understand. People can be asking you too many questions that ain't got nothing to do with them. You don't got to. My granny always tell me, do not let your your um, left hand know what your right hand is doing. Sometimes you just got to keep it to yourself. Sometimes you, And I never understood until I got a little bit older. I was like, huh? But now I know. I know now. You can't tell everybody everything. They won't understand it. They won't be as happy for you. Okay? For the month of February for my collective. So we got insight, okay? Spirit says you are asking the wrong questions. So some of you are asking spirit things that, like I said, don't even need to be in your area. You're asking about a, a, a job that you know it's time to go. You're asking about an old friend that you know they don't give a fuck. You're asking about a past lover that it's time to go, babe. You you are asking too many questions that don't need to be asked to spirit. Spirit's like, I'm showing you the signs. See, spirit says you, you've come so far. You've come so far. You know, think about how far you have came. Think about what you were doing, what place you were at, and where you asked God to put you at now. Because spirit says you don't need to spread, you don't need to stress. Everything you need will be provided for you. You you are good. You're secure. You know, you're, you're doing what you're supposed to do. But you got to be the one to stop asking these crazy questions that don't really matter. And didn't I tell you that earlier? Spa day. You need a glam day. Self-love is the best love. You got to start working on yourself. You know, you got to heal. You got to take care of you. You taking care of everybody else, but you forgetting about the main, the main character in the book. And it's you. You making everybody else the main character but yourself. It don't work. It, it has to stop because you're draining yourself. You're losing yourself. Who's making you happy? Who's checking on you? Who's making sure you're good? Who's making sure you're okay? Who's feeding you? Who's making sure you got a meal for the day? But there you are being given your hand, your extended hand. Some of you are giving and you don't even have nothing to give. So why are you giving? Why are you selling yourself short when you know you can have better? Why are you making sure somebody got the stars and the moon and you settling for a piece of a, a piece of a, 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 a something mediocre you willing to give everybody everything but yourself that's literally like that's literally like you making a full course meal you done made it all you done made it all you done slaved over the kitchen and everybody didn't come, came and took everything. You just left with a side of peas. But you were the one who was in that kitchen preparing, putting the recipe, putting a bunch of love into that meal. Everybody didn't ate. You know how the little hen, she asked for everybody to help her and nobody would help her. She asked that person for this. Nobody came through. She ended up having her own meal and doing her own thing. That's how you got to start being. Once you start getting those, I can't, and, and I, I'm not able to, and, and knows, it's, it makes you feel some type of way, because you're like, damn, I'm coming through for everybody. So if you're currently going through this right now, and you're the one who's constantly having everybody else's back and going out your way, you got to cut that shit loose. See? Spirit says you need to pay close attention to the signs that you are being sent. See, Spirit already said you are asking the wrong things, and you... Need to pay close attention to the signs because they're being sent to you. They're being sent to you, but you just don't want to take them. Stubborn, whoever this is. Tower moments, chaos and drama. You're in trouble. Yeah. The more you keep on, it's like you're missing the blessing that is right in front of you. Because you are having these moments where you are engaging in drama or arguing with people who you don't even need to argue with. You're wasting your time, babe. Like, you've got to stop doing that. It's not going to get you nowhere. Let them be mad. 
Let them be grown ass individuals and work out their own shit. You got your own shit to work out. Excuse my language, but that's just how I have to give it to y'all. Period. See, separation. It's time to remove yourself from these people. They're not, they cannot go with you. And I know you love them, but you got to love them from a distance right now because you are not doing what you need to be doing. You're not. And there is something soon where it's going to happen. It's going to happen for you, but you got to separate for you, separate yourself from these people who are not lying with you. Let them talk their shit. Let them be mad. Let them, oh, you done came up. You acting brand new. Yeah, well, you know, you know, you know how it goes. You know, you don't owe nobody an explanation, especially when you grown and fucking out here doing what you got to do. You don't owe nobody nothing. Breaking up. You are leaving a person, place, or location behind. It's time. This person ain't for you. This this that hometown is not is not yours anymore. Or better words, it's just time for something new. It's time to break up with with the ex. It's time to break up with the mama, with the daddy, sister, the brother. It's time to break up with a few people, places, and things. Because these people are not happy for you. They they want to make sure you, they good though, but when it comes to you, they could give two fucks. Spirit says, once you break up with these people, these places, these things, leave a location behind, leave this person behind. Spirit says, trust yourself in intuition because you are correct. You're going to shine again. You're going to win again. You're going to have what you need to have. And Spirit says, you're being protected. You are being protected. And some of you are teaming up with somebody who is really aligned on your purpose. They're meant to, you're meant to find, find these people who are going to help you grow, whether it's business people. You can be like, damn, where this why does she want to link up with me why does he want to link up with me why does you know this is what this that's what's meant for you it's a change change is coming i'm hearing that, that gospel song victory is mine that's what i'm hearing see and spirit says you are over some of you are overindulging in things that, that have nothing to do with you why are you going to the club and you don't have you don't you have nothing to show for why are you going to the club people that or you know they're going to cause drama. You're going to get into fights. Why are you sitting here smoking weed and getting high every day when you know you don't have nothing to bring to the table? When you know that you don't you have your ducks in a row? Stuff like that. Like little, little shit like that. But you do need to know that for some of you, you're going to get pregnant soon. But a blessing is coming into fruitation. Something is, is that's meant for you to happen is going to happen for you. Give me a few more messages, please, Spirit. But some of you are binging in things that don't need that you don't need to be involved with. You really, really don't. You don't need to be involved with. Wins at the top. It's just you. Didn't I just say that? Everybody cannot come with you. Everybody is not allowed to be there with you when you have these wins. They just gonna have to be mad. New things are coming in for you, and you got to get your mind right. You gotta you gotta collect these blessings so you can know that that is for you. You gotta you gotta get in this energy where you're like, damn, okay, <laughs> oh yeah, th I can do this. Trust, trust yourself and your intuition because you're correct. If you know something is not right, you're not feeling right. Don't keep binging in it. Don't keep overindulging trying to get. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. You need to protect yourself daily. You got to. They're not gonna see it how you see it. They're not going to understand it like you do. They don't understand why you care so much and keep talking about this one thing. It might be, oh, okay, I get it. But to you, you like, damn. Some people won't help you invest in that business, but they're going to be the first ones trying to get a, a seat at the dinner table. You can be surrounded by a bunch of celebrities. And everybody want to be your friend and see you posting and they ready to hang out then. Oh, yeah movement finally change is here do you hear me this month of february you're gonna learn a lot of lessons but finally after all this time change is here you've made it you're gonna make it but you gotta believe it you got to believe it you gotta know spirit got something better in store for you you gotta know it okay I love each and every one of y'all. I hope that this message was good for y'all. Try to switch it up a little bit. I will see y'all in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, please. Also, check out the description box, please. I love y'all, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.